17-year-old Lucas Monziel intently searches the internet for information. Today's class is on biology. Monziel is visually impaired and for the last two years has been attending computer classes at the Thaker School for the Blind. Monziel is in eighth grade, having started school at a later age because of his vision. He says that technology has opened new frontiers that were once inaccessible. Braille books are quite expensive and you have to use quite a sum to purchase one. But now since we have computers we get the books at virtually no cost. So we download the various books to read and when we are done we just close the program. The school embraced assistive technology six years ago, enabling blind and visually impaired students to access information from computers and iPads. Zachary Moisier, one of the school's teachers, was born blind. He has been teaching the students how to use the technology for about two years now. He says the technology presents opportunities that can level the playing field for his students. Assistive technology could uh, learn us with very many skills that really make them independent in life. They can read materials like books, magazines, or newspapers by themselves. And apart from that, it also assists them to acquire the employable skills. The assistive technology costs $1,000 for a school to install, but an NGO called Enable has provided it to the schools at no cost. Peter Okeo, the program manager at Enable, says blind students using the technology may still face challenges when they move to higher education. When, when learners move from primary to high school and then to universities, they go to university and then they realize that there is no that technology. So the fact that they learn technology in primary and high school, when they move to high to university, they go back to grade, which is now another challenge to them. So far, four out of Kenya's 11 schools for the blind have adopted the technology. Enable says it will provide the funding for the remaining schools to come on board. Lenny Ruvaga for VOA News, Thika, Kenya.